sorry if I sound a bit off in this video. I'm just coming right from a sickness that's made my lungs a bit ugh. So uh, if I feel if I if I feel if I sound a bit raspy, uh, you know why. Regardless, what I have for you today isn't some bizarre theory scrawled inside a public bathroom stall by MatPat on an LSD trip, or a showcase of stuff so irrelevant it didn't even make the final game. Instead, it's more of an experiment. If you've been around for a while, you might remember a video I made called The Glitched Chest Experiment. This was back before I started doing voiceover for my videos, and the whole point of the video was to test and demonstrate what glitchy stuff occurs when you spawn and open glitched chests in chambers where they cannot normally spawn. Fun fact, this video is apparently one of my most popular of all time, and I have no clue why. Now, I haven't done anything I would describe as an experiment since, because I'm not really a myth-busting channel, but I also didn't shut myself off from the idea just in case I came across something truly bizarre enough that I figured it would actually be worth a video. And that brings us to today, and a wonderful little item called the Drill. At face value, the Drill doesn't have much potential for weirdness. It's an active item that, when used on a chest, teleports the player to a room off the map where they fight a selection of enemies from the floor that they're on. The reward for fighting these enemies is the free opening of the chest. Straightforward enough. But what happens if you force the game into letting you use the drill in places where you normally can't using cheats? That's what I set out to learn. My first hurdle was the fact that you cannot spawn locked chests in Mob the Gungeon. I tried everything, but every chest I was able to create was unlocked by default. My investigation would have probably ended there if it wasn't for the work of Plagued Pixel, who put together a small mod that defaults all spawned chests to being locked. I can't thank him enough for this. This is a list of all floors where you can feasibly have the drill, and find a chest to use it on without cheating. They all work perfectly normally as I've already described. This, however, is a list of every floor in which having the drill and using it on a chest is impossible. A narrower selection, to be sure, but worth testing nonetheless. The first one we can strike off the list is the Breach. Despite now having access to locked chests wherever I want, the Breach prevents you from using active items, meaning that I can't use the drill without further modding, and at this point I felt like I'd asked enough of Plagued. That one can be an uncertain... <coughs> Next up, the Halls of Knowledge. The Halls of Knowledge uses the same tile set as the Keep of the Lead Lord, so the room that the drill creates looks fairly normal. In fact, out of all the weird flaws, the drill here functions the best, exactly as it should. It draws the enemies that are used in the tutorial for some randomized but extremely easy waves to unlock the chest before bringing the player back nice and simply. All the areas past this point are, no pun intended, pasts. As much as I'd like to say that there's some crazy thing that happens in each past, five out of the seven pasts, not counting the gunslinger's past because that's just bullet hell, behave exactly the same. The outliers are the pasts of the cultist and the bullet, and I'll get to that in a bit. Upon using the drill on a chest in most of the pasts, it does next to nothing. The pasts aren't technically made up of tile sets, so there's no tile set for the drill to draw from to build a room. It does, however, lock the chest in a state of purgatory. After being unsuccessfully drilled, the chest can no longer be opened with a key or destroyed. It is now a permanent fixture. That might have been disappointing, but let's not forget that there are still two more pasts to go, and I'll throw in a few honorable mentions at the end. Let's start with the Cultist's Past. Now, the Cultist's Past is just a copy of the Breach, but with no NPCs and intended for a co-op fight between the two players. The Breach, this past included, should logically behave like a past, Without a tile set assigned to it, it's just a bunch of large sprites. But it doesn't act that way. Instead, the player is taken to a room off of the breach using the tile set of the gungeon proper. The chest is unlocked immediately since there are no enemies in the cultist's past for the drill to spawn, so it just gives up. Weird, but not nearly as weird as the past of Dear Old Bullet. When used in the bullet past, we get taken to a room with a tile set not only unused in every chamber of the gungeon, but unused in the past itself. This room has walls made up of uneven purple rock reminiscent of the yellowy brown rock that makes up some walls in the mines. The floor here is also bizarre, with a rippling red texture again used nowhere in the past. 
the drill also manages to find an enemy to spawn, a chain gunner, since they are the only normal enemy to appear in the past. And the drill spawns a lot of chain gunners, because it doesn't know the difference between spawning seven bulletkin and spawning seven chain hurling juggernauts. If you want to know why I do this sort of thing, this room is why. The feeling of finding some bizarre occurrence that I can say with complete confidence that nobody on earth has ever found. It's unmatched. It really is. Also, I don't want to try my luck or anything, but if this was a creepypasta, I would definitely have found a dead child in here, and you can't tell me I'm wrong. Now for an honorable mention. The glitched floor you get taken to upon opening a glitched chest is basically the normal version of the floor, but 100% boss room. There's pretty much no weirdness when using the drill here, other than the fact that the generated room has no enemies to turn into waves, so it insta-unlocks the chest. Also, I may as well mention this because there's a bit of a misconception that this area after the dragon fight is its own chamber. It's not. It's actually a massive room stored on the same level as the forge. Gameplay-wise, not lore-wise. That's why there's no loading screen after you go through the time veil. You're not loading a new floor, you're just getting teleported across the floor that you're already on. Opening a chest with the drill here will behave exactly the same as if you do it in the forge. I say this because I know I'm going to get a bunch of comments about it if I don't head it off. By the way, you cannot drill the cache containing the gun that can kill the past. So yeah, you might think that this video was a waste of time, but meh, I had fun. And it was nice to wind down and make a video that doesn't require a ton of lore research and sprite trolling. Oh, also, I've been getting a lot of comments saying that the new Flame Chamber boss in Exit the Gungeon is actually one and the same with Lever from the RNG department, and I don't really know what to say other than that's just incorrect. The only proof I need is to show them side by side. Sure, they're both gun cylinders, so it might be tempting to jump to conclusions, but they don't have the right color, number of eyes, etc. But anyways, I've got to go record emotionally heartwarming lines for a furry. See ya!